Hey guys, Mel the Trade Shooter back in the studio and back with another Let's Make for you. And in this Let's Make, we're continuing with our Battlefield Basic series. We're widening it up, we're doing the last few little ones. Yeah, so what we're doing now is we're going to be making some flickering smoke markers. Come on. So when it comes to glowing smoke markers, you're going to need a couple of things. Now, first off, you're going to need some of these. Now, these are flickering glowing tea lights. You can get them like a pack of ten for a quid or two on eBay. And if I hold that up, do you see a light? Flickering. Now they come with this little plastic thing on. The best thing to do is just pull it off. Yeah, so you actually get the LED. Yeah, and you're gonna need a few of these. Well, you need one per smoke marker, obviously. Right, after that, let me switch it off. You're gonna need some of this stuff. Now this is polyfiber. Yeah, it's synthetic plastic fiber. I often find it inside teddy bears, you know, and we know how you Terraniacs love murdering the teddy bears for the teddy bear fur. Well, their stuffing's useful as well. And you can find it inside of pillars, yeah? Dunelm sells this, and you can normally get sample bits, yeah, if you go a bit fishing, you know what I mean? Yeah, so, we've got a polyfiber. Well, you're also gonna need a hot glue gun. Now, hot glue gun is the best thing for this sort of job, yeah? Because using PVA or super glue, it's really messy. PVA doesn't work at all. If you haven't got a hot glue gun, you can go for a latex glue, something like Copy Dex or Hobby Tack from Wooden Scenics. Yeah, and you can just paint that down, wait for it to cure a little, because it'll still be sticky, then go to work. But, by far the very best, hot glue. And there's one final thing that you're going to need, yeah, you're going to need some spray. Yeah, now I've got Army Painter Black here, which is perfect for what I need to do. If you've got an airbrush, you can pull it off a bit with an airbrush, but it doesn't work that well. The spray primers are by far the best. Now, what we're gonna do is, dead simple, I've already pulled off, yeah, a bit of my polyfiber, and you can see it's roughly square, okay? And what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna get my hot glue, I'm gonna put it around this edge, and I'm basically gonna wrap this polyfiber around this, okay? Yeah, like that. Oh, that's hot. It's getting ready, guys. Yeah, so if we start off, yeah, we'll put a bit of glue on here. I always find it's best working sections with this. Yeah, don't try and put your glue all the way around. I've done that in the past and it just makes an absolute mess. Yeah, and so stick that onto there. Get it to roughly where you want it, pull that back and then put a little bit more glue just around here. Yeah, same again. Wrap it round a little. Come on down here. And I'm just gonna keep going round until I've got it all wrapped up. So there we go, there's our little fluffy roll. Now, if I turn it upside down, you can see we've got a bit of overhang here. So, pair of scissors, quick snip snip. And there you are. All nice and clean. Right, as you can see, it's a bit of a roll and doesn't really look like smoke. This way it gets to be a bit, be a bit play. -y. Yeah, we sort of fold it over, and what you've got to do is just drag on it and pull it out, yeah? So what I'm doing is very lightly just pulling at it, yeah, and this will make it all nice and fluffy. I don't want to grab it too hard, because you can sort of deform it, yeah, and sort of pull a massive and it'll unravel, yeah? So all you need to do is just very lightly just pull at it. Always best when you're pulling at it to grip it from the bottom and pull it towards the top, as in smoke rising, do you know what I mean? Yeah, if you pull at it downwards, yeah, it looks a bit weird, but if you pull out it upwards, it sort of goes. Yeah, and you want to get that sort of fluffy look. So I'm just going to just gonna have a play with this for a minute or two, yeah, and get this all nice and fluffy. There we go. That's looking a lot better, isn't it? It took a little bit of play, a little bit of poly. It looks beautiful. Right, so very quickly, let me switch the light on so you can see the effect. Yeah. And you can see down there in the glow, you can see it glowing. Now, obviously, we need to shade this up to make it look like smoke. Okay, so the next bit, we'll go over to the desk where I do my spraying, yeah? Right, time to start making this look like smoke. And what I've got here is I've got Army Painter Spray Black. Any sort of spray black will do, any black primer. Yeah, I like Army Painter. Now, we're not looking to saturate this because what it'll do is it'll sort of, it'll obscure the glowingness of that little, orange LED, but we do want to start, and where we want is we want dark around the bottom, 
and sort of dark around the top with it being light in the middle and that will give you that sort of glowing out look yeah if you don't do it dark around the side and it glows out down here and it looks a little bit silly if you do do it, do it too dark all the way up the light can't get out so using very very little blasts you see how I'm just tapping it I'm not doing a continuous spray yeah I'm just moving it round yeah and that is literally all we need to do for the bottom okay so if I pick it up don't get it messy bicycle there you are yeah and then if we come on up to the top and I'm gonna hold it for this one yeah all we're gonna do is 45 degrees yeah so like that but I'm holding it about a foot away so I get a good diffusion on this yeah let me make sure I get it slap banged on the camera and <laughs> get paint on the other side of my glove yeah so 12 inches away little tap Okay, pick it up. I should have used the other glove. Yeah, same again. 45 degrees. Yeah. And again. And then after this, all I want to do is just very gently break up any sort of large areas of white. So, as I try and spin it round, yeah, I can see a few there. There's one. So, see that there, that big area? Yeah, it's a bit too much white, so we just need to... Yeah, I'll do. A bit more there. I always get carried away a bit. And then, uh, they do look nice though. Yeah, a bit more there, because if I bring it round here, just so you can see what I'm seeing. Yeah, you see it? Now, Try and not give it an even covering. Yeah, so we've got our light bits up there, our dark bits down there. Yeah, and as you can see, it's looking rather smoky. Now what I need to do is I need to leave this to dry because I'm not going to mess around with the little LED switch. Yeah, so very quickly. Now one of the other benefits of using the spray primer is it does make it all nice, firm and solid. Yeah, but we'll come back and I'll show you that in just a second. So here we are, all dry. Doesn't it look lovely? And if I bring it up to the bottom, you can see how you can, you can still get to the switch and everything. I haven't glued over it or anything like that. And the actual primer has firmed it all up and bonded it all together perfectly. Now, I know what you're waiting for, the moment of truth. Right, here you go. Come on, switch it on, bicycle. And there's it glowing. Doesn't it look beautiful? But let's be honest, okay? We want to see it in the dark, don't we? So let's have a look at it in the dark while I set up for the long shot. So that's it guys, as easy as that. Now remember, you are gonna need your tea lights and to remove that little plastic thing so you get a decent amount of light coming through from that LED. Yeah, make sure that when you're using your hot glue or your latex glue, you don't glue your on and off switch. Yeah, and remember, avoid PVA or super glue for this one, yeah? Too messy guys, really too messy. Hot glue or latex glue, recommendation is hot glue. Yeah, wrap it around, get it a good nice fix and then start to slowly pull at it. Okay, that will give you your nice fluffy look. And then when you've got the look you like, it's just a matter of hitting it with some black primer. Remember, hit it at the bottom, yeah, so the glow comes upwards and outwards. And then also, yeah, from the top, yeah, just so it looks a bit more like smoke, you know what I mean? Yeah, so there we have it. That's all of it. As always, if you've got any questions or you've got any tips, throw them down in the comments. If you liked it, like the video. If you know someone who'll use it, share the video. And as always, guys, if you do like these videos and they are helping you with your hobby, please consider jumping on the patron thing and help support the whole channel with a dollar a month. It's only a dollar a month, but it keeps the lights on, it keeps the cameras rolling, and it keeps me in this studio producing great content for you guys. And remember, if you're not into the patron thing, there's the PayPal thing down below if you want to do a one-off. And in the meantime, I'm going to say, Get cracked on, make some smoking tea light markers, and I'll look forward to seeing them on the Train X group if you do. Yeah, link down below. In the meantime, all the best, yeah? Ta-da.